In previous videos, we have discussed frequency distributions and we have discussed relative frequency distributions. Uh, I'm using the same data set here and the same table. You can see our frequency distribution here, our relative frequency distribution. Now we're going to construct a cumulative relative frequency distribution. Kind of a long title. Uh, a cumulative relative frequency distribution looks at the percentage uh, or the chances of being in a particular class or before. So within this class or a previous class. So it's cumulative. So let me get my cursor to work here. Uh, the first class, there would be no previous classes before the first class. Uh, so the frequency, relative frequency, would be the same. So here it's going to be 5 out of 23, or 0, let's see if I can get the color to work, 0 0.217. No need to underline. For the second class, you're looking at the chances of being in the second class or the first class. So you're going to take a look at the relative frequency of the first class plus the relative frequency of the second class. <clears throat> there is a little bit of rounding error here because I rounded to the third decimal place. Uh, but that will come out to be about uh, 0 0.47. Eight. For the relative cumulative relative frequency for the third class, you're looking at the third class, the second class, and the first class. So I'm going to cheat a little bit, just copying and paste here. So you're looking at the two previous classes plus the new class. And that will come out to be about 0 0.782. And then finally, you're looking at the first class, the second class, the third class, and this final class. You're going to add all four up. So I'm going to do a little bit of cheating here and copy and paste. And then I want to add to that the final class which there's a little bit of rounding error here because our relative frequency was rounded to the third decimal place uh, but it should come out to one. The likelihood of uh, data landing within the last class or a previous class would be the same as saying the likelihood of a data value landing within the data set, and that would be 1. 100% of the data is within the data set. So 100% of data is in the last class or a previous class. So if you construct a cumulative relative frequency distribution correctly, this last class should always come out to be 1. So. Lining this up now, our cumulative relative frequency uh, distribution would label the first class at 0.217 or 21.7%. 21.7% of the data is in the first class. Second class would be labeled 0.478 or 47.8%. Roughly half of the data is in the first two classes. Uh, the third class would be labeled 0 0.782. So 78.2% of the data is in the third or previous classes. And then we have four classes uh, with this uh, frequency distribution. Uh, the last class would be labeled with a 1 for 100%. 100% of the data is in the data set.